What is the crack lads? We are back with another video. Today we're taking a look at the best left midfielders for all budgets, starting with 0 to 5,000 GP, 5,000 to 10,000 GP, all the way up to the biggest and most expensive left midfielder. So starting with James McLean, 4,700 GP, the Irishman, 67 overall. Now he's got roaming flank. He can pretty much play all the positions, including left back as a B option. You know, it's not his register position or play style, but he can play there. But look at his player skills, right? I know he's low rated. For 4,700 GP, you can either go with an option like this, like an all-rounder utility man with loads of good player skills that you can boost up very quickly, or you can go for outright speed, like a Langar, somebody like that, and play him as a left back which will, or a left midfielder. But I think for McLean here, right, he's got super sub fighting spirit and one touch pass. He's going to be able to slot into any team when you boost him up training, right? He's a really good option. Up next, we've got Flores. So again, this guy came to my... I think he kind of came to my attention from playing the Challenge Cup. Um, he is obviously a really, really good player as well. I think he's got Roman flank. Yeah, he does have Roman flank as well. And he can play pretty much all the positions except anywhere in the backs. He's probably a better option to get if you've got a couple of extra thousand GP for what you're getting. He is a bit on the small side if you're going to be playing him as a kind of bringing the ball forward type of player and trying to get back with defense. But he does have fighting spirit and track back. And he also has soul control and long range uh, shooting as well as cut behind and turn. A very good option as well for a budget for 5,900. Galano, the Portuguese, or the Brazilian Porto man, FC Porto in the, in the Portuguese league, I should say. Sorry about that. This guy is what I'm talking about going for sheer pace, sheer speed. If you're looking to bring on somebody that can make a difference to your squad, if you're looking to have a really good sub that can come in and cause hassle for even the, the fastest right and left backs, Galano or Galino is a really good player. He's got a nice height. He's got nice player ID style animations with some of his player skills. He's also got 82 speed and acceleration as well as 71 kicking power which is quite good and he's got a really good dribble of 77 as well 24 years of age he fits into a youth squad as well next up we have got van juma so obviously van juma is playing for villarreal the dutchman is a really good left midfielder he can play left mid he can play center forward he can play right mid he can play left or right wing so this guy can do it all he is prolific winger but he is registered as a left midfielder in the game I think he's stronger foot as well as right foot, as you can see there. He is 24. He does have unwavering form as well as low injury resistance. So that is really vital for when the player ID or the player updates do stop coming or however they're going to handle that. It is always good to have a couple of players with unwavering form in your squad for their player form arrows and their rating there, which is C at the moment. But he's got some really nice baseline stats that you can train up as well. Next up, we're going back again. As I said, the yin to his yang is just a pure speed merchant, right? So you're talking about a player that can come in and just cause a lot of hassle or else you're talking about getting a player that can do it all this guy can do it all he's obviously playing for newcastle saint maximin he is a really really fast player 84 acceleration 82 balance 84 dribbling you can train him up obviously to be mid 90 or mid 80s to high 80s low 90s with all those stats if you just want a pure speed merchant and he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want as well to absolutely rinse people on the wings when you're trying to defend one twos one v ones everything you know he's a really really good player that can make your team very very good perisic now i was kind of troubling myself as to who to include in this I'm, i've left a couple of big names out that you could probably fit in here um, and obviously we will be doing a video on left wingers as well, which kind of opens up a more attack based. I think Perisic is a really good player because he's got super sub, he's got unwavering form and his stats are all mid to high seventies that you can boost up quite easily. He does have a really good player ID as well. He seems to be very hard to get past as well because he's got 66 defensive engagement. So you can kind of play a little bit more defensively with him. You could boost that up to 75 quite easily and play him as a deep sitting kind of wing back style left, left midfielder, which is good. Now we're on to the big boy right son obviously plays for Tottenham and I think that this guy is he worth 300,000 I would have to say having played with him a bit more in my second squad I would say yes I think he is definitely the best if not you know one of the best players in the game he's definitely the best left midfielder left winger 
His pace is blistering. He's got track back. He's got first time shot. He has all the tricks in his arsenal. He's got 80 finishing as well, which for a winger slash left midfielder is massive to have that option that he'll be able to finish all those rebounds you get, all those cutbacks, all those swing-ins, all those, all those shots that you usually can miss with a low rated left midfielder. So yeah, he is my top pick for the 300,000 GP. We will have to take a look when you watch this video with the left wingers as well to see if it's worth getting a winger because they are more a bit attacking based only slightly but yeah sun is an absolute beast so that is it lads for me with the left midfielders for all budgets i hope you're enjoying these videos make sure and check out the rest of the series with all the other positions covered i will talk to you later as usual leave your recommendations of who's working for ye and who what hidden gems you guys have found but until next time i will talk to you later peace